if you look at the nine phenotypes that he has described based on only two angles which are very important angle the lateral distal femoral angle and the medial proximal tibial angle and i think the the concept here is that when the joint collapses on the medial side with varus these two angles don't change and if you recreate those angles you're going to get patients original constitutional alignment back provided there is no bone loss so that is exactly what i'm saying that the next step after the collapse of the joint is there is going to be a bone loss and not only bone loss do you does does panel believe that there is going to be some remodeling of the bone as well this is a it just one plane alignment that's a coronal what about sagittal you could have another similarly s pack classification and then where do we stop it's very difficult to judge yeah I, I, I whenever you have a tibial bone loss it's never in the center or you don't see one point